Hello, welcome back. I am going to do a flip cup pour today. Um, going back to basics a little bit. So I have my white, two blues, dark and a light, and two pinks, dark and a light. So um, the Old Montmartre, that is the Cerulean Blue, I believe. That's an opaque. There's a Stella Blue, which is a semi-transparent. I have the pink from Montmartre. And I have the magenta. So the pink is an opaque and the magenta is a semi-transparent. And obviously the white is an opaque, as you know. So let me just show you the consistency. So it's nice and thick. I put 50 grams of paint in each and 50 grams of pouring medium and three drops of silicone in each color, not the white. So I'll just start layering. So I should be okay to have opaque, semi-transparent, opaque, semi-transparent, opaque. Obviously we'll go back to the opaque. And then light, dark, light, dark, light. So fingers crossed, um, everything works. So I'm just going to layer my cups and put them quite close together so I can just very easily go from one to the other. So by all means, if you don't want to see me layering, do fast forward. That is not an issue. And I think I can do maybe three layers. I'm not sure yet. I will see how much... I've got left after the second layer. Let's have a look. Let's try this. Or I might just put on my dark blue. It's slightly runnier than the others, slightly thinner. But Start this end. I think they're going to be lovely together. For some reason, the first one always ends up with loads more paint than the others. So let's start on this side for now. Let's see what that comes. That's it. Kind of catching up now. Let's go back to the magenta. Two layers, that's fine. Thankfully, that's what I was planning for, planning for, sorry, but I just thought I might have a bit too much, but no, it's just fine. So my canvas, by the way, um, is a 16 by 12, which is um, 40 by 30 centimetres. So nothing fancy today. I did quite a few um, large pours over the weekends, so I did fancy something quite small and it's not necessarily easier um but just something different from my uh, from my large pool so i thought what about what about a nice um basic colors you know nice colors and that complement each other no metallic no drama nothing fancy just let's get the basics right so there's my pink now empty, so let's see my very thin blue, is how much I've got left? I'm not going to put too much because I don't think I've got that much left, or oh, very little, but that's fine. This cup had quite a lot to start with, I think I put quite a bit of white in it on the first layer, so I'm happy with that. Let's just clean the cup, let's see. I do try to reuse um, my cup quite a lot, um, depending on the type, if it's a plastic cup, um, I will wipe them clean um, with tissue paper and then I will put them um, in the sink and wash them with hot soapy water. Um, for cardboard cups, I actually let them dry and just peel off the, the dry paint, so that's quite good as well. Obviously after I a few usage um, they do or they tend to break or tear or but you know it's um, 
always good to be able to, uh, to reuse as much as you can. Same for the uh, the puppy pads. Try to use them as much as I can. Let's see, I've got a little bit of white left, so we'll finish with that. I definitely made more. I think I made 60 gram of pouring medium and 60 gram of oil. So yeah, I've got like an extra layer worth. I just thought I might need a bit more um, to cut corners or whatever. Anyway, the white, I always use white, so it's never lost. I put another cup on top of it and I can leave it on the side, you know, for two, even a week. Um, it's not an issue at all, it stores very nicely. So, oh, sorry about that. Let me just see if you're still in the frame. No, you are not. Let me just put you back where you should be. Sorry. Right, so I'm ready to look at these hands already. Okay, so that's just flip, nice and easy. Flip and flip. So I do not put any um, silicone oil at the bottom of my cups. Because the only one I can find here that I'll be able to spray is actually some uh, WD-40. And I find that I just get so many cells popping up. And it's more like lacing. So it's great if you want to do more of a bloom um, pull. But just for if you want standard cells, you know, working on your composition, etc., um, I just let the paint run, and I know I will leave some at the bottom. But as I've told you before, I always have a, a cup on the side. Um, I scoop everything I can. You know, there's no waste with me. I put it in a cup, uh, stir it up, and I use them as flow enhancers for my larger pours, like straight pours or wandering pours. So there's definitely no no waste. So, oh, that sounds a bit more hollow now. Come on, a little bit more. Okay, all right, let's try this. Let's put the gloves back up. So, maybe not quite fast enough, but, oh, big worm in the middle. Let's have a look. We'll sort out the sides in a minute. Let's get rid of this, thank you very much. Okay, let's move it there and we'll reuse it in a minute as well. Oh, not fast enough, but that will do. Okay, let's cover our corners. Look at this, that's lovely. See, pink and blue, pink, sorry, and blue. Go back to basics, let's get pretty things. Sometimes you just want to get quite simple pores done. Very satisfying when you get really fancy pores um, and end up being successful, but sometimes, you know, you get as much pleasure to get simple pores. Uh, well, so, Quite a few things, there's another worm there, so I might do the same. Well, actually, I've got a large bit, so I'm just going to run it across because I don't want a big worm in the middle. And it's now or never. So let's just run it a bit further down. That's it. And this one, same issue, very naughty. I'll leave that one. Okay, I don't want to talk yet because there's quite <clears throat> a few um, cells coming up already, so I don't want them to pop up. So um, let's work out where there's the least pain. So I think the more uh, I've got more area there to cover. So if I turn it round, and then I will take it on the journey on the boat and gently lift it and go from left to right, left to right. Ah, something I've forgotten before I go any further. I need my piece of cardboard to catch the corners. I was not ready, I apologise. So yeah, that's the G-cut tip. That is absolutely great. 
if you want to bring up see your paint towards here you need to tilt over there and that's all going to um to flow out of the canvas so if you put a bit of cardboard there you can catch most of your paint and you do not lose it she says i haven't got quite the technique i'm not as good as julie who is uh, so let me just try to do the other side yeah, let me just just for now let's bring it back in the middle otherwise i will end up let's see Oh, it's not going to work. Hold on, let me put it down. Right, put it back in the frame. Oh, it's not going to work. So let me turn it around. I will come back to that corner. So I can feel the weight of the paint. It's down this end. Let me try to take it on the journey. And then I can always stretch it a bit more there to come back to the so. That's it. Bring it back. And let's get this out of the way. Very interesting. Okay. A bit more on this side. Then I can kind of, yeah, tip the rest. So let me see what I can bring there towards this side. And bring it back. Let's try to, we'll try to straighten our lines in a minute. Okay, there's absolutely no rush. Okay, let me turn it around so you can see when it tilts. Oh, I think my glove went over there. I've got a bit of a stripe there, but it's not the end of the world. Right, so let me gently take it from left to right, left to right. Let's go on that boat ride and bring it back. Okay, now I've covered the majority. Oh, well, I've actually covered the whole canvas. I can, I'll be happy to torch now and see what happens. And then I can play with the composition and tip the extra paint that I don't need. And then we'll be done, she says. So I'm just wiping my hands. You can wash your gloves as well. I mean, as long as you've got them on, you can rinse them in the water and use them several times. So, okay, so nice and high. Let me just remove this out of the way. Nice and high. Do not get too close. You only want to bring silicone to the surface to come and play. You do not want to burst air bubbles. <laughs> You can get closer later, but it's always easy to add. It's very difficult to remove. I've got a few things happening, a few cells popping up, so let's see where or which area we can focus on. Okay, let's give it a minute. was a very good and long torch so let's see what's happening da, da, da. Mm, that's where I put my finger oh now actually the um the skewer isn't it never mind it gives it some interest you know so we need to stretch a bit more first to open the smaller cells but also because we still have too much paint on the canvas so I us to tilt it, let me just think. I think I might get rid of this and that, so that side, so I will be going and tilting forwards. Let me see whether the weight of the, oh, the paint is already all the way down there, so. Less of a journey. That's it, let's tip that, try to keep my lines, and let's come back up. Oh, I'm nearly over stretching there. Let me just straighten that, because I'm not happy with that. Okay, oh dear me, dear me. Actually, I think I've messed up, but let's see. Let's just see. Let's keep doing it and turn it round so you actually can see. 
You don't want to be selfish. Okay, let's try. Let's see. I'm not um, that keen on that bit, but let's just see what the paint is and what we can do. So at the moment, it's in the middle. I start to run out in a way of paint, if I can put it that way, to really play with the composition. So, do I want, come on, be sensible. Let me turn it around the other side. I think, yes, that bit, that bottom bit will be the most sensible thing to do. Let me see if I can get rid of that corner, first of all. I hope you won't stretch the rest too much. Come on, you can go. Off you go, off you go. Thank you very much. Bring it back without distorting too much. Okay, where's the weight of the paint? Let's put it back centre. Bring it back in the middle and stretching that side and now so I need to go this way that's the only way I'm just holding my pins underneath so sometimes I've got cups sometimes I've got pins I'm not um, too fussy really either way I'm not difficult it really depends on my mood of the day so let's bring that up. So, okay, big cells, quite a few colours. I know um, a lot of people would be happy with that, but I want to do a bit more. So let me straighten it. I want to get rid of that blue on the side. That's it, thank you very much. Let me bring it back up a little bit. And I'm going to torch to see if I can get quite a few small cells so let me just wipe my hands because I won't be able to hold my torch in that way yeah it's quite that I think my paint um, was a bit too thick because I haven't got as many cells as I usually have and I've done um, I think my white, I should have added some water to my white. It was quite thick and I just thought it'd be okay, but it clearly wasn't. But let's try to torch. I still try to stick a lot high up. I know I haven't got that many cells, but if I get too close, it's just going to be absolutely crazy. So I keep moving. Going round, you can do it in lines, you can do it in rounds, there's no rule as long as you keep your distance. Got a few things happening, that's good. All things are popping up. So, I don't want to get too close. Whoa, I did get close, didn't I? You did warn me. So, do as I say, not as I do. It's one of those. I will stop, stop, woman, stop. In my corner. In my corner. Oh. Come on, stop, 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 stop. I never know when to stop. Terrible, terrible thing, woman. Right. I don't really have that much pain to um, to stretch more. I'm quite happy with the composition. Quite wavy and bubbly and not simple colours, but quite a few lovely, lovely cells there. So with even all four colours, so that's brilliant. Let's just see, just in case I can do something about it. Just in case, I don't think so, but let me see. Oh, maybe, maybe. Let's try to stretch a tiny little bit more. Let's give it a go without overstretching anything. Because even if you just remove 
a tiny little bit from each side if it just flows over you know what that will open the cells but just keep looking don't just look where you're going see where you're coming from and see if the cells where you're coming from are getting distorted and stretched so look at that it's opened them loads can you see so it has opened all of these they're the ones with the four colors i was on about these are open as well let's see where the weight is and see let me just feel it it's there so if i can go slightly diagonally i might be able to stretch a little bit more oh my goodness i'm being very very oh yeah let's just stop there i think i'm being very very adventurous and it's not it's not right so i will end up oh let's bring it back in the middle let's bring it back in the middle let's keep it safe there we go so let me just check the weight of the paint again and just turn it around it's going to be the wrong way around for you and let's have a look let's just bring it back somehow so that's where the weight is and it's just stretch there oh the stress people the stress Right, I will ruin it if I touch it more. So I'll need to leave it alone. We need to learn to stop as well. So I will, let me just clean the corner. Let me just remove the gloves first. First thing first. Let me just scoop. I haven't got any issues with the corners. They're all covered. Let me just get rid of that. Because yeah, the paint dripping is going to... Um, kind of drag the paint from the surface to the side so it may become slightly um not deformed it's not a lot but it will you will lose some of your composition so let me just check on this side i'm in a tiny bit there in the corner that's it right what do you think let me zoom you in okay so you know what i will take you on apologies i can never do that bit okay how nice is that have a look so these are the cells with quite excuse the finger quite a few I mean, it's got all four colours in there, so that's lovely. Let's have a look on this side. Let me find them. Look at these as well. That's lovely. Thankfully, I've not overstretched them too much. Oh, there's an eye looking at me there, right in the middle. Hello. Um, these are nice as well. And then one, two, three, four colours. So, yeah, overall not too shabby as they say quite like it let me know what you think thank you very much see you soon bye